we don't often see sugar as a masker or a bitter blocker, but it can be. When we reduce that sugar, we get more bitterness, and that's typically why we need bitter blockers or masking agents. There are five basic taste senses, which are sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. When we're developing health and wellness products, we're modifying those basic tastes, especially when we're looking at sugar and salt reduction. When you're reducing sugar or salt, you're throwing the entire product out of balance. Over the last 15 years, the bitter blocker landscape has evolved from looking at existing synthetic flavor compounds and ingredients, screening for blocking or masking effects to the natural, sustainable, and clean label options we now see in the market. The limitation with bitter blockers has been to find natural bitter blockers that work across multiple bitterns and bitter blockers that work specifically for caffeine. To date, we've been able to find bitter blockers that will work for a specific bitterant, but not across the multiple bitterns. What's exciting about our bitter blockers is that they're natural, they work across multiple bitterants, and we have one that specifically works with caffeine. Part of the challenge is how people taste bitter. There are two known sweet receptors, but 25 known bitter receptors, which makes the identification of these compounds challenging. So that's why we work with a variety of industry partners to identify and validate our findings. Bitter blockers are a breakthrough in the food and beverage industry because they allow us to add functional ingredients to health and wellness products, delivering health benefits to consumers without compromising taste. A great example is dark chocolate. It's high in fiber, rich in antioxidants, and proven to reduce the risk of heart disease. But a lot of consumers don't like the taste because of the bitterness. That's where bitter blockers come into play. One of the main bitterants in dark chocolate is theobromine. And our bitter blocker targets theobromine and reduces that bitterness of theobromine almost to the 100% bitter blocking mark, which is amazing because I have not seen that in my 15 years of working in taste modulation. I've worked with many bitter blockers, both synthetic and natural, and this is something to get excited about. We're excited for our clients to use these bitter blockers in their health and wellness applications. We will be launching the bitter blocker technology in several phases, but the first phase will focus around beverage, confection, dairy, sports nutrition, plant-based products, and pharma. I'm excited for our future. I'm excited for the future of our clients. We have a lot of cutting edge ingredients coming into our portfolio. We're ready to work with our clients to bring the next generation of health and wellness products to the market. We all have a choice, choose well.